I have a, a couple of different aims that I was hoping to um, present today. The first just being the idea of identifying the range of perinatal mood and anxiety disorders. Um, I think if I had one huge, enormous goal besides just breaking the stigma around mental illness, it would be that when people talk about the perinatal time period that they recognize that we're working with a, a continuum of disorders, that it's not just postpartum depression. Um, and then along with that, talking about the uh, potential risks of untreated psychiatric illnesses that occur during the perinatal time period. And finally, talking a little bit about what treatments and supports are available. Specifically, I would like to talk about Center for Women's Emotional Wellness over at Christiana Care because I think that we are, um, we do represent a unique model in terms of treatment. Um, certainly does not address all of the needs um, regarding the rural population at all. Um, but we certainly are interested in understanding the barriers um, to treatment and increasing our access. So just to begin, you know, I mentioned this idea of perinatal mood and anxiety disorders, sometimes also referred to just as a whole maternal mental health, really trying to get away from this term of postpartum depression. Um, for one, there's an enormous stigma around the idea of postpartum depression. Um, but perhaps more importantly, I think that when we talk about postpartum depression, we lose an enormous group of people. Um, when people hear postpartum depression, they think two things usually. They think tissue boxes and tears, and then they think those women want to kill their children. And I'm neither of those. I don't, I'm, I'm not crying all the time, and I also don't want to kill my child, and so obviously I don't have postpartum depression. Um, and the trouble with that is that an enormous group of women then go, um, unrecognized, symptoms go unaddressed, they don't get treatment. Um, so we want to recognize that these disorders exist along a continuum. There is a spectrum of disorders. Um, and we don't want to talk about just the postpartum period either. We want to recognize that we can't have, we, we can't address postpartum issues if we're not talking about what came before.